Dear Warwick is out. No, I mean, stop. What? No, but can I explain why? Because Dermot, this is a guessing game, yeah. and we all just literally. She opened her mouth, oh. and we all went. <laughs> you knew straight away. She didn't I mean, even try and hide it. <laughs> she didn't. Well, she didn't try and hide it. You can't hide it. No. But yeah. also, I think once we've all got it, then it's a bit where, yeah, where, do, where, where do we, we go, go with from that? here? Um, what I didn't know though yeah. is that last year you made history with the most amount of correct guesses. It's very impressive. It also came as an absolutely enormous shock <laughs> to me. I was doing the chat about this morning, and um, I, with the with the the research yeah. chat. And he said, yeah, because you've had the most guesses. I said, no, I think so you might have to go and recheck that. And he said, no, it's actually true. I like, did a little loop, victory loop around my kitchen. What's your tactics? You just, as soon as you hear, like, the cadence of a voice or whatever it is, you just go... I, I, think, I think what it is, you're looking at absolutely everything. Because the clues, you, if I said you, mm. they'd start making all the clues next week to fit you. Yeah. And then you go into this circle. So I always think almost kind of ignore the signs that are really obvious and go for kind of the little tiny clue. I'm, and I'm always changing my guesses, which sometimes is a bad thing because with Zoe Ball, for example, I guessed her the first week and then started guessing other people. It was, in fact, her. Yeah. So, but the joy for me isn't in guessing correctly. It's the joy for me is when they unmask and I don't know who it is. <laughs> I love that and I go, no, I do know who they are when they've taken off the mask, but I, I don't know who it's going to be. Yeah. I agree. I mean, there is a clip out there, which I I can't believe it, to be honest with you, where you, someone is revealed and you literally lose oh, it. from this series? Yeah, yeah. from this series. Oh, you no. absolutely... It's a preview and you absolutely <laughs> lose it. I have no idea who this person is. But let's have a look at the clip. We don't, we don't reveal who it is, but have a look at this. Shoes. What shoes did you have? Never, she was like wiggling. She was like, I'm behind a desk. I can wear the highest shoes you have ever seen in your life. I can't walk in high shoes. Little waddle. As you see that, I was going, going down the slope from the panel to the stage was this, lethal. But that's obviously well. someone you know well. And you like, were, really you were well. Obviously surprised. I can't to see. tell you. They, they must have cut it up because I was there for a minute going, Can I? Can I run to the stage? Can I run? I don't care. I'm going. And I, I ran it. because. It was the most beautiful the thing I ever. Can't it was wait amazing. To see who it is. Davina, what do you think the success of the show is down to? Like, it's so, like, it's one of those yeah. shows that you sit down, it spans generations yeah, and the kids love it, even though half the time the kids have no idea who they're watching. It doesn't well, matter. Sometimes, sometimes they say, the big thing is, is it a boy or a girl? Yeah. I've heard, like, toddlers kind of go, or mums and dads going, do you think it's a boy or a girl? So they're in the guessing game. Yeah. And then when it comes off, they don't know who it I is, but they go, it. it's a boy! Yeah. They guessed right, you know. So it's as simple as that, but... I mean, I know generations watch it together. Yeah. And Saturday Night TV is about that. Oh, absolutely. The generations being able to come together and watch, it's a boy! Yeah. <laughs> and it is such a strong panel. You've Can got I just Jonathan also Ross say yeah, the, the costumes? So when they said to, when they said, oh, here's Chicken Caesar, I was imagining a sort of a wrap in some kind yeah. of like, you know, um, tortilla. Yeah. But out came like a, a chicken with a Caesar <laughs> thing on. I was like, I That's laughed quite clever. so hard. So it's daft, isn't He's it? He's got a nice really voice silly. as well, Alexander. He's he? great. He's, got a lovely voice. He's really good. Dermot, would you ever do it? I don't know. Do you know, Charlie Simpson... That wasn't was a no! That wasn't a no! That Char was not a no! Charlie Simpson was very, very nervous because it wasn't his thing. Yeah. But other people um, who aren't professional singers say it's one of the you most say liberating... I'm not a professional singer. I'm the, one of the most liberating things start. ever because it's you... Um, yeah, because you're not seen. Yeah. Because you're not seen. I just like it. It's, it just seems like a Mask nice... Mask singer. Nice. <laughs> Get on the phone to Dermot right now. <laughs> I, think I think he might brilliant. do it. But I, I think I would know straight away because I obviously hear you he every single morning singing. You'd disguise so I, I, it. Disguise, I never, ever guess it when I watch it, ever. Shall I, shall I tell you the moment... Me a which is, yeah, go on, go on. The Alison. moment which is most vulnerable is when you have to take your mask off and sing oh, again. Yes, oh, yes, so that's for me. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't like it. I liked it when the mask was on. And then you have to take it off and sing as you. That's when you feel most vulnerable.
Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But no. did you get into it by the end? I loved it. Did you? I loved being inside it. It was amazing. But I was only in a little special, so I was only for one day. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine what it's like to do it every week single week, week, week after week. We have to so talk about My Mum, Your Dad. Yes! I love this, yes. I love the show, but I love the story of how it got made. You and did it. Like, because when you originally said there needs to be a Love Island for, for people in middle age and people who have, like, you know, about to embark on the second act, like, did, did you then go away and develop it or did people get in touch with no, you? How did I, it work? I, I, I often say things and I don't do anything about it. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to email the lady, Amanda, at ITV, who makes Good Love for Island. You. And I thought, she doesn't know me. I've never met her before. But I was like, hi, it's Davina here. I think you should do this. And I thought, I'm never going to hear back. And literally, yeah. two days later, she came back and she said, you know, we're not doing a midlife Love Island, but we are looking at an American format um, and we'll keep you in mind. So then I was like, you might not keep me in mind. I'm just going to annoy you. <laughs> Absolutely. So I, I bet she was like that. Time. Davina's just text. <laughs> We've got our presenter. And then she was like... Oh my God, Here she's messaged again, please. <laughs> but you must stop. have been so happy with how it went, because it was just such it's a lovely, lovely pure at heart show, isn't it? It was a pure at heart show, Dermot. I mean, that was the thing that I loved happy about TV. it. It was literally just about finding love, but it was also about all the baggage that we come with yeah. and trying to take down those walls brick by brick sometimes mm. that we build up because we've been hurt or we've been betrayed or we're grieving, you know, those things. I mean, Roger well, so was like... How much, much children love their parents as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's so heartwarming because I think when you look at teenagers nowadays or uh, people in their early 20s, often on television, they're portrayed in a, in a very sort of single-minded yeah. way. And actually, there are lots of different things, but when you look at how much they love their parents, it is the most endearing, sweet thing and how invested they are with yeah. their parents actually being happy later in life because, in a way, it frees them up a little bit. Yeah. You know, there was one girl who said, I want to go and live my life, but I don't want to leave my mum. She needs yeah, she's me. she's worried. Oh, <sighs> Davina. It's big, isn't it? Davina, we have got a little bit of a surprise for you because, obviously, we sent Roger and Janie on a few romantic weekends away and they went to That's check a out the Christmas time, market in Edinburgh and they've been sightseeing in Switzerland. Oh, they're not I here. They're... But today, they're in sunny Barbados, actually. Stop well, it, guys, there they are. Good morning, guys. Oh, morning. You guys. Good morning. Good morning, morning. morning Alison, oh. Dermot, oh. Davina. Hi, Davina. <laughs> you look fantastic, you two. Are you having a lovely time? We are having the best time, aren't we, Roger? I feel <laughs> really fantastic, yes. <laughs> Can I just say, always looking tip-top, but the both of you, such style icons. Congratulations for not letting the side down there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Thank we did you. try. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. My own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is, there any, is there anything you want to say to Davina about your love and anything? Oh. Well, basically, Davina, I've had to put up with this for about seven months, <laughs> and I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, being serious, it has been the best time of my life, oh. without question. So thank you. And yeah. you too. And, and if I could just add, it is. Sorry, got, I'll, yeah, it's changed my life completely. Well, we could Beyond see that you're in Barbados. Living your best life. The new life, presenters but... of this morning. We love it. We love having you I'm on. Trying board. not to look too small. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Thank you, Roger Janey. Oh, we look forward to seeing you when you come back. Lots of love. Oh. For anybody... For... Yes, definitely. OK. Bye. Lovely. Oh. Lovely to speak to you. you. Bye, Davina. Love you. Dermot, Alison. Bye, oh. Davina. Are they there doing stuff for us? Yes. Or are they just there? Yeah, they're doing oh, stuff lovely. for us. Oh, that's good to know. Can I just quickly <laughs> say something? For anybody that didn't see the show, the thing was that Roger's wife passed away a year yeah. before and his daughter wanted to say, look, we're giving you permission to look again. And on the first day or the second day, he said, I don't think I'm ready. He was looking oh. at everybody. And on the third day... I've got goosebumps. Janie walked in and you saw his little face and he was like, oh, yeah. wow. Aww, and nice. it was so heartwarming <laughs> and lovely because I felt, I felt like hope. Yeah. I felt like hope started for Roger just then and then they, <sighs> they came together and it was beautiful. Thank you So for if you in. want that, go to my yeah, stories on Instagram. We will. And go, go and get your family mm -hmm. to apply for you. If you um, want that, it's on Insta now. Thanks, Thank you. Davina. And The Masked Singer continues tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on ITV and ITVX. Thank you, Davina. We are